Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm back again with another colorful nail art tutorial. And if you are new here, let me welcome you to my channel. My channel name is Celebration, which means Jashan, who I am. So stay tuned with my channel for more such awesome videos. And first of all, let's take a look at the supplies that we will be using: a base coat and a top coat, minus two in one, a clear polish, an orange. A golden or a yellow, a big golden for some shimmer in it, a pink, a green, a purple, and you will also be needing a white polish or white acrylic. I will be using white acrylic for this today because it makes the task a little easier for me. The other supplies that you will require are a dotting tool, and if you do not have one, don't worry, you can use a toothpick or a hairpin. You will be needing a striper brush. I made this by myself. Uh, uh, for the stickers, you will need uh, cutters, tweezers, nail filers, scissors, a cuticle pusher. But I end up using only my fingers. I was using just the nail filer and cuticle pusher. And you will also be needing a Ziploc bag, a polythene bag, or a sandwich bag for this. So first of all, lay the polythene bag flat onto a surface and start by applying a layer of clear polish onto the surface. Once the first layer dries, go for another layer of clear polish onto the surface. Just be generous with the clear polish because it will later help us to remove the stickers easily. And let the second layer dry completely. Once this dries, open up your acrylic or white polish and dip your striping brush into the polish and wipe off the excess for a cleaner look. And then start by drawing longitudinal parallel lines onto the stickers. Just slowly and gently drag the brush in the downward direction to create a straight line. And also while applying clear polish, make sure that you are applying enough polish so as to cover your entire nail. And these white lines will go along the length of the nail. And this is how it should look like. Now open up all of your polishes that is pink, golden, green and orange and start by placing a drop of each polish onto these 10 stickers. While placing the dots, just go random and play with the colors. Place these dots wherever you want, whichever way you feel like. If you have any missing spots or any leftover space, once again go with all the colors and place the drops once again. This step will also ensure the blending of each color. For this, I will suggest go with the darker color first and then with the lighter colors because the lighter colors will eventually share up any darkness and it will blend all the colors very well. And this is how it should look like. And here comes the dotting tool into the plate. Dip your dotting tool into the acrylic and start by making 5 dots to create a flower. 4 and 5. And then I will be randomly, not randomly, then I will be dragging all the 5 dots inwards to create a flower. And keep wiping off your dotting tool for a cleaner finish onto the sponge. And I'll show you once again. How to make these flowers? Just place your dotting tool and lightly drag it inwards. Do this five times. Three, dip your polish. Again, four and drag. Five and then drag. This is how we'll create all the flowers. And once all the bigger flowers are done, with the same method, draw smaller flowers onto all, all of these 10 stickers. And 
once you are happy with the garden that you have created onto your stickers, open up your purple polish and place a drop of polish onto the plastic bag and then wiggle your dotting tool into the purple polish and place it in the center of each flower for that extra pop of color. With the bigger side, apply the dot on the bigger flowers and with the smaller side, side of the dotting tool, apply the dot in the middle of each smaller flower. And again comes the clear polish. Apply a layer of clear polish onto each sticker and let them dry overnight. This is how mine were looking on the next day. And then our next step is to apply these stickers onto our nails to finish the mani. For that, pick your base coat and apply a layer of base coat onto your natural nail to protect your natural nail from staining. And it will also help the sticker to stick to the nail bed. And this is how we will peel the stickers just with the tweezers or with the nail filer lightly scratch the ends of the stickers and peel it off just very gently place it between your hands okay i'll show you once again with the help of my nail file i am lightly scratching the edges of the nail sticker so as to lift it up and once lifted with the help of my fingers i will remove the stickers from the plastic bag you can also use tweezers for this but my fingers were doing the job for me and then the next step is to line the stickers along the length of your nail and then firmly pressing it with the help of your fingers. And once the sticker has been stuck to your nail, take a nail filer and file along the length of your nail. We are filing to tear off the excess sticker. The other method of doing this is that we can dip our brush in acetone or nail paint remover and remove the excess but I found this method a little easier. And for the top portion of my nail I am using cuticle pushers and with the help of cuticle pusher I am lightly pinching the stickers to tear it away. Just be gentle with your cuticle pusher and then peel off the excess. And for the bottom part of my nail, I am going to file it once again so as to tear it off. Initially, I decided to uh, keep the stickers on the inside of my nail as well, like I kept this on my little pinky. But later on, I decided to remove it off. And finally bring the shine back to your nails with the help of a top coat. The top coat will also ensure that your manicure lasts longer. And this is how you can do manicure on both of your hands and this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment to this video and stay tuned for a henna tutorial up next. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.